5G Reduced Capability REDCAP, is a 5G technology defined by the 3GPP Standardization Organization. 5G REDCAP is a reduced function version of 5G, especially in networks with the same performance as the previous generation of LTE, the latency of 5G REDCAP has been significantly reduced. 5G REDCAP has the functions of high transmission rate, low power consumption, low complexity, and high number of devices, which makes up for the shortcomings of traditional 5G with high cost and high power consumption. What is the difference between 5G REDCAP and MMTC, URLLC, EMBB, and TSN? 5G IoT application cases that support large-scale machine-type communication, MMTC, and support billions of connected devices and sensors. It adopts high reliability and low latency communication, URLLC, which has high reliability and low latency characteristics, and is suitable for applications that require fail-safe and real-time communication. Enhanced Mobile Broadband EMBB, which improves data transmission rate, network capacity, and coverage compared with traditional mobile broadband. It adopts a time-sensitive network TSN, to meet the requirements of real-time audio, video transmission, reduced delay, and reduced jitter. Both EMBB and URLLC support Internet of Things connections, but they only include high-rate and low-latency applications, such as robot automation and drones. They are not suitable for simpler and lower-cost IoT devices, such as sensors and simple controllers, which require long-term work and have high requirements for battery life. The 5G REDCap combines the characteristics of low power consumption, low latency, high transmission rate, high number of devices, etc., and is more suitable for industrial sensors, health wearable devices and other application scenarios. What are the main advantages of 5G REDCap? Low cost, Compared with ordinary 5G terminal equipment, 5G REDCap equipment uses fewer antennas, and 5G REDCap supports lower bandwidth. The reduced number of antennas can reduce our material costs, and the reduced bandwidth also reduces the cost of our PA. At the same time, 5G REDCap reduces power consumption, which provides us with more choices in the selection of power supplies in the later stage. High speed, REDCap's transmission rate in the application of smart wearable devices can reach a downlink transmission rate of 150 megabits per second and an uplink transmission rate of 50 megabits per second. Low energy consumption, REDCap's batteries in industrial sensor applications can be used for several years and can be used for one to two weeks in smart wearable devices. Further evolution of IoT applications and LTE to NR migration. REDCap devices have peak rates and complexity similar to existing low-end LTE device categories, such as CAT2, CAT3, or CAT4. When application cases that need to be migrated from low-end LTE devices eventually need to be migrated to NR, this makes REDCap devices the best choice to replace low-end LTE devices. When the bandwidth, number of antennas, and supported modulation requirements of the device hardware are similar to those of low-end LTE devices, we can also realize dual-mode device types that support both low-end LTE devices and REDCap devices. All in all, REDCap devices can coexist efficiently with other NR devices without adversely affecting overall network performance. REDCap inherits many key advantages of 5G NR, such as supporting a wide range of frequency bands, including millimeter wave frequency bands, native 5G core networks, high network energy efficiency, low latency, brought about by NR lean design, and so on.